the next video about uh, how to make a very very simple oscilloscope and in this case with the this tube the DG732 uh, say this is the kind of progress uh, the high voltage oscillator works now better I have to make it much better by the way because I have connected the scope exper scope tube experimentally and it flickered somewhat but anyway I'm gonna publish the uh, definite circuit with a proper DC on 500 volts etc and well uh, Perhaps I can tell that I bridged the primary with a 1K resistor and the 68N capacitor to make it more stable. But uh, there's uh, much more to tell and much more to experiment. So this will be the box where the scope tube will be mounted into. Uh, like I always make my circuits, they are made on wood. And you can see here the shielding on the back side. Shielding is made with tin plate. Of course you need shielding with such a uh, sensitive oscilloscope tube. Such a tube can be influenced by all kinds of AC uh, currents, voltages, uh, even say in in rare cases by uh, neon lights etc etc so the tube needs shielding and uh, this is say my ID to make it it's 5 October 2022 the tube will be here the high voltage generator here the power supply here and it's very very important that the power supply transformer here is as far away as possible from the grids here are all the grids inside that tube because such a 50 hertz transformer has an enormous tray field around it that depends a little bit on the quality of the transformer but anyway, it must be as far away as possible. So this will be the setup. By the way, the front is also made with tin plate that is uh, glued to 3 mm triplex so that we have a proper shielding uh, in very old uh, oscilloscope. Uh, circuits uh, there could even be an influence when you point it with your finger to the screen because your body uh, is mass so that could have an effect on the screen uh, of course that's more or less obsolete anyway in theory it is of course never obsolete in electronics theory when we are talking about this your finger will act as a mask when you touch a screen but uh, whether you see something happen on the dot or on the line that is an other question anyway so here the set up again let's put all the the things in to proper position tube will be here oh, oh holy that uh, high voltage oscillator will be here approximately here 12 volt transformer I want to use uh, one 12 volt transformer uh, they have it has two windings it's made for approximately five watts that, that must be more than enough here 230 volts here one 12 volt winding here other 12 volt winding uh, one of the 
12 volt windings I will use to uh, give the tube. It's filament current, 6 volts, so I have to uh, bring that voltage down. And I also want to use DC instead of AC. In many old uh, circuits you will see that such a tube is uh, supplied with 6.3 volts AC on its filament. At least when it is uh, uh, an A-type tube. Anyway, study the data sheet. Uh, and of course when you want to work with other oscilloscope tubes, that's completely logical. Uh, the filament voltage and current will differ. Only ID of the filament voltage and current is that the, uh, the cathode is heated up, sending out electrons flowing here from this part of the uh, tube to the screen. Screen is now here. Gonna make, say, a kind of holder where that screen will be positioned here, and I will make a plastic screen on the front. So that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, here again, how it. Uh, how I want to make it. Here there's room for the power supply, here there must be room for the horizontal and the vertical amplifier. The horizontal amplifier will be very very simple, it will be a sawtooth generator. Um, and I found in a 1970s book a sawtooth generator that can work up to 17 kilo cycles. I hope that I can get that working. And the horizontal amplifier will be, say, or a normal audio amplifier giving out approximately 10 to 15 volts to drive the, the, uh, the vertical plates. They are here, somewhere here inside. And, uh, well, what I wanted to also wanted to show is that such a tube needs shielding. And uh, uh, that was more or less the first idea of this video. Uh, in the past there was used to shield such a tube, the so-called mu metal, mu metal. Uh, it was, say, a kind of weak iron where no magnetic fields could be built up because uh, every magnetic field that is uh, that can affect the grids on the tube will have an effect. So you will surely see when you add a magnet to such a tube when it's not shielded that the uh, the dot on the screen will move. Anyway, so uh, I used in the past, say, this simple uh, tin plate, and I'm going to use it again. Of course, uh, it is no special metal, no special steel, that's what I mean. It's no weak iron. It could be that uh, perhaps uh, static, not static, uh, magnetic charges can heap up in this metal. But in the past I did not have a problem with that. And to make such a shield shielding, I of course want to make a template. Put down the camera for a while to show what I'm going to do. Here is the tube. And I'm going to fold over here a piece of paper and then cut it with a scissor. So make a template in a certain way. And then I will copy that piece of uh, paper to the, uh, the template, uh, cutting it out with a scissor and then folding it. Uh, so that we have here 
so that we can get here a beautiful hood of um, steel template to shield the tube for all kinds of uh, electromagnetic influences. That was all. Thanks for watching. Part 2 of the very simple oscilloscope. Very simple.